If you're new, press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Assalamualaikum everyone and welcome back to Luna Classic video update. And I do actually recognize some candles like this, um, where you do have something like this. So basically, that's almost like a tweezer bottom that you're making right now. Some spinning tops that almost looks like a tweezer bottom. Not, it's not a very clear one, but anyways. Um, you do have the 10, the 20, and you've lost with the 55. Um, it's pretty much clear to me that you've made the bear cross as well. Now, it would seem like if, if before you actually continue lower at the moment, you might make a little bit of a pump back up to the 55 and visit the 55 here. So that can actually be a very small, tiny move back to... 9-10% move back. Maybe it's just a quick trade. It could be a quick trade actually, but it's not guaranteed because um, By the end of the day, that's something that you're not guaranteed. Now Why is it that you can actually go back up to this area? Maybe 16,000. The reason is simple because um, You've actually had a break to the downside like this was your support area some support right there some little bit of support here one support there had a, uh, one touch here as well, one touch there, and one touch there, okay? Which actually makes it the lower support line of the monthly bear flag that we've talked about. And from here, when you broke to the downside, you broke aggressively, made a very big wick to the downside. That was a whooping, you know, destroy everyone who is actually uh, bullish and, you know, make a 26% dump to the downside. Everybody's stop losses got taken away. Whoever was trying to uh, make this thing, you know, thinking that it's going to go to the upside. I mean, by the end of the day, it's manipulated. I, tell, I told you so many times, trading-wise, this is one painful coin. You cannot... Uh, deny the fact that it has actually been painful, but if you look at the history whenever you made wicks like this you you always bounce back up You made a wick like that you probably even bounce back up again um, The thing is that when you broke to the downside like this you really didn't back test and as I said before you've actually Aggressively went down so maybe a dirty retest all the way back to this line again get rejected here and then finally go down But to me personally, I'm not gonna trade it whether it wants to go up or not I don't really care by the way. Now let's talk about the weekly because the weekly has something. You have five more days to close the weekly time frame and uh, I still have some doubt about the weekly. Can Someone can say that if this weekly time frame survives then you could even try to put a double bottom here. Okay, you can try to put a double bottom. However, for me personally, uh, the the thing remains that you potentially still need to get above, you know, 21,000 to actually continue even higher. That's what really matters. Now, a weekly closing to nearly 20,000 is going to be good because you're going to break above this particular neckline and you could even have a potential double bottom on the weekly, if that makes any sense. So the weekly, but is something we're going to pay attention to. But to me personally, um, this candle have five more days to close. I'm actually gonna keep an eye on this one. If somehow you end up making this one bottom and a second bottom like that, that would be amazing. That would mean that you know, you're know you potentially interested to try to come back up again. Everyone is bearish by the way at the moment. So if you if you go back up, I wouldn't be surprised just to, you know, surprise all the bear, uh, you know, all the bears once again, someone who is trying to short now is going to get destroyed to the upside and someone who was trying to long it is, was destroyed to the downside as well. So again, another manipulation can happen. So it is what it is at the moment. I just want to see if the daily is actually oversold or not. So once they dropped it down, did they actually oversold everything? Now, well, um, if you look at Luna Classic at the moment, it's actually, it's actually over oversold. Uh, you still have a little bit of a gap to come down to 30.12, which is the main, the main, main biggest support level at the moment. So you can actually do something like maybe pump a little bit back up with the RSI, pump a little bit back up on the chart, and then continue lower, and then the RSI actually goes all the way to the support level. And wherever this is, we're going to see uh, what happens, by the way. And uh, another thing is potentially you could have this support wick down here where you have uh, this touch right over there, one touch right over here. So in the future, if you make a very big dump and maybe come down to that trend line, which is 9,035, 
uh, maybe you can actually make a quick wick again from here and then try to go back up like this and then continue even lower so that it's just a speculation nothing uh nothing big right there and that's pretty much it for this update on luna classic i'm gonna see you in the next one hello office